Hi everyone, it's Sandy Chong here from the Australian Hairdressing Council and I have with me the CEO of ALDA and it's Rosemary Sinclair. Now ALDA stands for the Australian Domain Administration and they're in fact now members of the Australian Hairdressing Council. And we've asked them to be members for a particular reason and it's because we really want to talk to everyone today about cyber security and making sure that your business your business and safe. So hi, Rosemary, great to have you back, you know, chatting with the IHC. Um, how are you? I'm really well, Sandy, and it's lovely to be back. Oh, thank you. I mean, cybersecurity is such a concern for small business. And of course, we are being heavily targeted. And so I've actually written some questions down to ask you because, you know, I think, um, you know, I, even I know of members and friends who have been hacked or, you know, they've had, they've lost money out of their accounts, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about um, small business. And one question that I actually had down was, um, what is DNS abuse? I mean, we hear about DNS and I don't even know what DNS is. So maybe you can give me an explanation. That would be great. Well, to be honest, Sandy, at Alda, we work really hard to make sure that nobody ever has to think about what DNS is or isn't. Um, what it is, is uh, Australia's part of the uh, internet. So anything ending in .au belongs to the .au domain name system. And we run that on behalf of Australia into the global internet. So when we're talking about cyber security and you hear that term DNS abuse, technically it stands for domain name system abuse. I think it's much easier to think about it as deceitful, nasty and sneaky use of the internet and something we should do something about. I think that's very accurate, actually. Definitely deceitful, nasty and sneaky, which is pretty much all cyber security. It's a really, really horrible crime and mm. we're all actually you know we're very vulnerable about um when it comes to you know cyber crime um so what can a small business do to i guess enhance um you know their online security i mean that's always such a concern so what are your recommendations we, look we think about it in um four different ways um the first is people and regular training for your people is really critical. Uh, and you can talk to your IT um, service provider or your website people about where to get some uh, really good training materials. There's lots and lots of good stuff online, but it teaches people to uh, identify um, a phishing email, something that asks you for your details. Um, it puts you on alert um, to an email that comes, say, from Sandy Chong saying, Rosemary, you promised to put that $20,000 into the bank and you need to put it in straight away. Here are the banking details. So anything asking for money with a sense of urgency that's unexpected, the training will help people identify those. So people's number one. Second issue is passwords. And people get really um, terrified when the experts say, now we need everybody to use a, you know, 20 character password. Um, it's much easier when people say, well, we want you to use 20 characters, but make up a sentence that you'll remember. Like my favorite place is the gelato shop in Hawaii, right? You can remember that, but it, it's 20 characters and very difficult for people to um, uh, get into. Third area is patching. So we've got people, passwords, patching. Now, patching is like, um, it's literally like if you've got a jumper or a sock with a hole in it and you patch it, or we used to patch it, Sandy. I don't know that we patch anything now. But software systems with a vulnerability or a hole in them, which enables deceitful, nasty and sneaky people into your system, um, preventing that is called patching. Again, have a talk to your IT provider or your web uh, hosting people every now and again to say, look, have I got the latest software? Because something that we've uncovered in our work is that small businesses are running their businesses, not worrying about whether they've got the latest software usually. And so old software is very liable to have vulnerabilities or holes in it. 
so patching. And the last one, so people, passwords, patching, is anyone you're dealing with, any providers that you're using where you're interacting with them online, ask them, are they taking care of their cybersecurity? Because people can come in through their systems into your systems if your providers are not up to speed. So that's that's how we suggest people think about it. Wow, that's really interesting. I've not heard about patching before. Mm. And, uh, you know, I've definitely heard of, you know, um, websites that aren't your real website, I've yeah. heard of bank accounts, you know, being hacked into, um, social media accounts being hacked into, et cetera, as well. And mm. so the best thing that we can do to protect our website is to speak to our IT people and make sure they've got yes. the latest programs yes. to protect. Okay. And yes. I think that that's something that we all forget to do. And um, I think that has to be on the must do list. Yes. Um, so one thing then, um, one one thing I put down here as a question is, you know, where can you learn more about protection for cybersecurity? You've mentioned, um, you know, uh, contact your IT company, yeah. maybe Google online. But the hard thing is there's so many cowboys out there. How do we know, you know, who's the right person to Google? I mean, can we go to AUDA for advice or, you know, where would we get that advice? by all means come to our website um, in the blog part of our website we've got great information but there are a range of other resources um, and um, you know really uh, serious and trusted resources so the Australian Cyber Security Centre you would think that that's just for geeks and you know real heavy hitters they've got terrific content online for small business and their website is cyber.gov.au. So it's really easy to remember. So that's a good one. Um, the other thing that we're keeping an eye on, and we're you know very supportive of the Cyber Wardens Initiative. Mm. Uh, this was work that COSBOA, the Council of Small Business Organisations of Australia, is doing with a range of different partners. We were happy to play a tiny little role in helping with the funding. Um, but cyberwardens.com.au uh, is going to provide resources for people in small businesses to act as a bit of a point of expertise in the same way that we all have fire wardens. 25 years ago, we probably didn't have fire wardens and we didn't think to tell people the exits over there and meet in the park across the road. Well, now we need to have cyber wardens and this initiative will really help with that. Um, there's a company called Know Before and again, it's uh, um, uh, the website is no K N O W B E number four, so Know Before. Uh, dot com. They've got um, some terrific resources online uh, about phishing and hacking and what, what to do. Um, and of course, as I said at the beginning, there's our website. So if you go to those sorts of websites, um, that'll be the start of a journey. The resources uh, there are all targeted absolutely at small business, not, you know, super heavy technical geeks. So that's where I suggest people start, Sandy. Oh, thanks so much, Rosemary. And I know that with the Australian Headers and Council, we have let COSBO know that we'll be part of Cyber Wardens oh, as well. Great. And, you know, we also make sure that our members know about ALDA because it's, uh, you know, for the work that you are doing in this area. I didn't know about the other ones. Um, we provide over 400 resources in our library for our members. And I think we need to have a specific folder now that's just on cyber security. So um, listening to you speak, then I think that there's quite a few links there and resources that we need to source for our members and actually get that in our library so it's at their fingertips as well because that's the thing it's like where do I go where can I trust you know um exactly. you never know if you're actually on a site and is it a real site you know can I trust them um but you've given us certainly some tools that uh, you know we can pursue for our members as well thank you it's an absolute pleasure because it's, I mean, I'm here uh, on the one hand saying now be really careful about these links from places you don't know. And then I'm saying to you now go over there where you've never <laughs> been before and just play around and have a look. So I think your idea, Sandy, of kind of curating the resources for your members in 
your resource area is a terrific approach. And I'll put my hand up to um, help by providing some of the startup resources. Oh, thank you. We would appreciate that. And, you know, we know that it's human um, error most of the time when it comes yes. to, you know, being, you know, our you know, sort of security. And even I got an email this week from Telstra, Telstra in brackets, yes. saying that I needed to pay my my bill. Otherwise, my phones would be cut off. The thing is, the Telstra bills don't come to me. So I knew straight away that was. And don't you love the addresses that some of their emails come in? And I think that's probably one tip too. It's like, check the email address and it's, they're all yes. gone. So, you know, yes. Yes. yeah, it's kind of a good hint. But anyway, um, I would love to get you back and talk more about cybersecurity as well. So we might get you um, book you in again because I think it's such a big issue for small business. And, um, you know, I think that we're very unaware at the moment that we are the target small businesses. We're definitely the yes. target. We're busy. And, yes. uh, you know, and so it can very easily make that mistake. So thank you again for your time. And all of that information was incredibly helpful. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure, uh, Sandy, and we're really happy to help with this journey. Thank you. So thanks so much for ALDA. And um, I know that the AHC will um, see more about ALDA in the near future as well. And thank you for joining the AHC. Pleasure. Thanks, Rosemary. Pleasure.